morning guys it's uh, 4 22 2022 today is friday 8 24 a.m i'm recording the video for yesterday 4 21 2022 thursday uh for nq especially okay yes is is pretty much same story but i'm going to only record for nq now these are the pre-market notes you know so read this very carefully i'm not gonna repeat or or talk here or walk you through these notes because as usual right the common theme is you have to watch my regular video which i make for my subscriber right without inbox uh, you have to look to watch through that video so you can understand all these pre-market notes and how it lines up with the real-time day trading from the levels and how the levels will guide you to go long or short or switch the direction or vice versa so you have to watch that video first then you can watch this inbox video so you know what is going on okay so i'm going to just scroll through here just if somebody doesn't want to uh, watch the video that my original video or regular video then you know you can just read through this you know i'm going to just scroll down right so there is a lot more information here it's not only about uh, the notes but there is a pre-market voice also covering through all the indexes notes and you can see there are detail levels here see all these things and with the notes see nq yesterday you can see these things this where this is the area where nq got rejection tomorrow morning these are the high nq is high here in this area right so you can see these comments here earlier when i posted the notes there are comments here took some profit for longs and races up to real time see that reaction from here is called equal to ping pong at that moment or decision time and NQ made a decision here, right? So if you took the profit here, it's a very nice thing. If you did not, you got screwed. Now here also you can see 170, 180 level, right? And this was the morning long, right from here. You know, breakout above, buyers, see that? That's where the NQ initially launched the move of the open. This was a good long from there. Later on, there was a long here also at 130 area. And once price went, went below both of them, you are ready to short, you know, and it, it, it will line up perfectly with, with the pre-market notes right here, the way I wrote it, you can read through it. Uh, and then, see, the note doesn't end here, see, there are detailed labels, buyers, sellers, you know, there are a bunch of labels, each label has a more information, but anyway, so, M box wave, right, so, that was the long I was talking about from 180. See that going above buyers so that was the wrong right here you know and you can see it here also long setup right then as usual as i said right this area entire 240 250 right take profit so take profit right at the same time in es you can do the same thing here long take profit right if you haven't taken a profit here you can do profit here also second time right and I explain all this thing why and what in my previous video, uh, the original video, you know, without inbox. And there are these are the shorts for the day. These are the shorts, and this was the long I was talking about, right? So 170 long, 130 long, right? But here, knowing that open drive failed, there is a balance, there is a breakdown. Price slides through 170, sellers are there. So here there was a confluence with our level, right? 170, 180, and intraday and the 24-hour VWAP. So if you took a long here, you bail out here and you can even reverse to the short side or you can wait for this level to be taken out. Both the key levels are taken out to the downside. Then on the, on the way up, pull back, short and then short, 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 short entire day. This was the note I put it at 6 o'clock, that pending target for yesterday's sellers. See that? Straight down. So the moment it break below this 53, most likely it's going to come here. You can gracefully, you know, short here wait for this target you know and then bounce back up this 955 sign line you can short here also right and then down so now let me show you the inbox way also here right so and then so it went higher you take the profit here somewhere right you don't have to wait for inbox to give you a signal you can if you now you can wait even you know because it, assuming you are not you are only using a box let's say you do not know about the levels or my levels right and and let's say if you just want to manage it based off a box fine you can manage it right 
So looking at this 378 delta and this initial up thrust, there are more buyings, more amperes, right? You can this will allow you to hold your trade here, right? So you can uh, holding it, not knowing the importance of these levels. Let's say you are holding it, right? And you went long at this breakout, right? So obviously your stop is going to be somewhere around here, right? Then it went higher, right? And it pulled back, pulled back with minus 46. So you're not going to add it here, right? Probably, because look at this, see? So you're not going to add it here. But now, but looking at this, very minimal selling. See, there is a delta minus negative, but there is no enough selling here, right? So technically, it's a case for to go long here also. Those who missed out this thing, they will go long here, which is fine based on Mbox, right? Then, or you can wait for the breakout of this, and then you can go long, right? Either way. So let's say you wait for a breakout. Breakout did not happen, right? Which then you went long here and then price did not break out even instead of breaking out it came it came out with minus 30 and you can see there is no buying going on right so you can even bail out that position or you can wait with stop below this and then you got stopped out right and then price went higher at this point you have to assume price wanted to go higher and break out because here you can see 69 right you can see some buying also coming but look at the amount of buying just reduced drastically See, so and demand also you can see that 378 and 69, right? Do you want to see this with this much buying? Do you want to see 69 only? This much difference and this much buying only? Only that much buying? Something is off, right? Now you know something is off. So most likely the chances are price may come down once again, do some back and forth, then go higher, you know, or go down. Two options only, right? So at least here there was a warning sign. So if you are still holding this trade, at least you should bail out. With this down bar, you should bail out, right? So, but anyway, let's say you did not bail out and you got stopped out again, okay, fine. But now at this point, you know something is off and then you can see this selling came, right? Up to this point, there was no selling. But here, look at this, selling, cumulative data flip, right? All this thing was going on. Now you know something is off, right? But technically, since buyers are here, they can still defend. So you can't short it here. Then you can see there is a the price slides through this area. See that? And whoever had a stop here, they all got bailed out here, stopped up pretty much, you know. And then price. So that was the second clue that sellers are in control. First clue, second clue, and this time selling is still there. However, little bit less selling, but selling is still there. 558 delta good amount of supply right but the selling is not enough then you see this double algo x control dot which is the arrow right now at this point it is all happening into my levels and the morning launch point see the my point so i think that this point buyers become seller now if you don't know anything about the levels here then it is hard for you to understand all this thing you know but at this point, based on Mbox, you can see there are sellers there, right? And then there is a down thrust. And then you can see minus 60 or whatever, that 86 delta, which is not I would like to see, right? In not enough selling going on, not follow through, and you can see it here. That means it is going to pop up. It popped up here, right? And then again, minus 193, again down another new low with less delta. So buyers are going to defend. And not only because of that. See here there was a long setup too. Why? Because it was my level and it was like pending buyers are still holding above this buyers are still active, right? So that's why you can see this price bounce and now you couple with Mbox Whale, you can see this supply was not enough at this new low and this one also not like great downside, right? Selling, less selling. So that will allow you to go long here. And if you don't want to go long at the first test, when price pop back up, came down, you can see minus plus 15. That is the long, you know, based on the levels and the reading, you know. And then you bail out here because this broken support turned into resistance idea, you know, previous sellers defended it, right. At this point, 
based on m box you are holding it because you, let's say you are, you doesn't know you do not know anything about the levels here right so then you are holding it because it's a 259 delta there is a buying going on buying is more than this buying right so you are holding it all right and then your stop is let's say somewhere here and then price pull back right again and then it try to go higher which is here with plus 17 see that's another clue similar to this and at that time you want to see more buying coming in with the breakout right when you can see there is no buying it was actually imbalance going on right here look at community delta very minimal look at there is no volume here so you bail out right there you don't have to wait for you to get stopped out here or here you bail out but and then you wait for this area to be taken out and then you short right that is mbox way so when you see this dot big dot big dot you are ready to short right but if you had the our labels then you would short right here based on this weakness and level combination you will short right here you know at this level which is this see here this short then price slides through these things right and it was our dream number area dotted lines are very very powerful right but in this today's context you know most likely it will taken out with some response so here you can see the dotted line acted as a support right and then price bounce back up so i am waiting for this area you know here you short right at right at this level right which is this now why this area and why not this and this that answer you will find it in my video you have to watch that video you know original video and es also at the same time see both are you can to together you can short in both of them all of all these trades are lined up together you know and then later on i'm not going to walk you through all these things but you can see there is pretty much you know all the short 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 you can see there is more volume any pull back to the buy side short you know that was the theme today you have to recognize the theme for the day you know and that we all for today using mbox wave